Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today I want to have a run through all of the amazing secret rares we've currently seen for V-Star Universe. Remember, all of these are going to be in Crown Zenith, although there are, I think, four of these that have been confirmed as being promos over here in, well, UK, US, Europe, etc., outside of Japan. But with the full list coming in a couple of days, I thought today was a very good time to sit and have a look at all the ones we've seen. And we have seen a bunch of them. So we're going to go through by rarity and by set number. Shout out to the lovely Primal Lugia for helping us put them in order and being a thoroughly lovely person. So the first one we've actually seen so far, the very first secret rare in the set, is the Hyaganasuke Hasui and Electrode, and for my money this is the best one we've seen, I am biased towards the artist. We've got the Kamiya Orakorio, not my favourite, but I know a bunch of people out there are Kamiya fans, and they are going to adore this. We've got the Lapras by Zig, which has absolutely just stunning artwork, and I absolutely adore it. We've got the Manaphy which is one of the first ones we showed off. It's got all those other Pokemon in. It's absolutely lovely. Not to mention this is the one with Bench Barriers, so which sees a bunch of play. We've got the Galarian Articuno. Now, remember that this one is being used as a tin promo. The free Galarian birds are all tin promos over here, so don't expect to pull them from packs. You will be disappointed. We've got the Mew, which, again, was one of the first ones shown off. All the other Pokemon are there, and this one sees a bit of play as well. We've got the Lunatone, which, you know, it, it's a one from Pokemon Go. It's it's part of that deck everybody loves, and it's so-so, and everybody loves so-so. We've got the Deoxys. Some of these were shown in traditional Chinese rather than Japanese. We work with what we can. But the fact that they've got item cards and tools from both Fusion, Single, and Rapid Strike makes me so happy on this one. We've got the Deancey, not my favourite, but I'm sure a bunch of people are going to absolutely love it. We've got Galarian Zapdos. Remember, this is going to be a tin promo for us. And this, again, as far as I'm concerned, is amongst the very best ones we've seen. We've got the Soul Rock to go with the Lunar Turn I showed you a moment ago. That whole deck is now blinged out, which is awesome. We've got the Shinji Kanda Galarian Moltres. Again, I'm not a Kanda fan personally, but I know a whole bunch of people out there are, and I do think this is the best artwork they've done. So that's kind of amazing. Again, will be a tin promo for us. We've got that lovely Absol by Uta, which is just awesome, honestly. We've got the Magnezone by Komatsu. Now, this is one of the most recent ones shown off. Do remember that this is it's one... You'll be able to spot this other artist's work, all right? It's just awesome. Very stylized, very cool. We've got the Crocheted or Knitted Altaria. I can never quite tell the difference between them. I'm sorry. We've got ourselves the Hasuian Gudra that just looks a bit sad, but don't worry. Starly has totally got its back. We've got Latias flying through your underwear, so watch out. Plus, it's T0, and T0 just makes amazing artwork. I adore this one. And then we've got Dunsparce hiding all around somebody's room, which is extremely cool. You've then got the Ditto, which looks like a Numel, but is actually a Ditto. I love it. It's just all Numel all over the place. But then you realise it's a colourless Pokemon. And then you realise one of the Numel has a Ditto face. And then you realise it's actually a reprint of the Ditto from Pokemon Go, but just with Numel. And it's absolutely stunning. Speaking of stunning, we've got the Mill Tank getting ready to suck into a big feast, far too much of which is made from milk. This card weirds me out, but I do think it's very pretty. And then the last art rare is actually the other best one. So the first and last ones that we can see so far are the best, because it's the Amelikar Biberel. And bearing in mind this Biberel, you know, when the world champion, Andre Shkabal, won the world championships, they literally said in their winner's interview, play Bibarel, and now we've got this amazing version of it. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. And the artwork. For me, it's a Suian Electrode, Galarian Zapdos, and this. They are the top three. And, of course, there was no way that I was ever going to be able to record, edit, and upload this video without a new art rare being revealed in the meantime. So, we've got this new Feeble, which got shown off today. It was shown off in a box opening, so we don't have the best look at it, but I'm just popping this in there because... 
I'm trying to tell you this video is all of the secret rares that have been revealed so far. And although it hadn't been revealed when I started this video, it has been revealed before I upload it. And I don't want to be a liar. But we've got a bunch of special art rare cards we've seen as well. We've got Leafy on V-Star looking very happy in amongst all of those leaves. We've got the Charizard V-Star. Now, remember, we've already had this in the Ultra Premium Collection. Japan hasn't, so it is in this set. We've got Entei V, not one of my favorites, but still a very cool card. We've got Simicia V-Star, which the artwork is weird, and I don't like the card, and yet I love this, and I want a copy in my binder so much. We've got the absolutely stunning Suicune V, and Suicune's a very popular Pokemon. This artwork is ridiculous. I expect this to be an extremely popular card. We've got the Luminion, and Luminion's a great card that sees a bunch of play, so this is a very cool version of it. Plus, it's got Lantern on, and I played Lantern at my very first Nationals. We've got Glaceon, and we all know how popular these evolutions are. So, these Leafeon and Glaceon are going to get a little bit ridiculous. We've got the Raikou, which, look at this artwork. Very stylized, very cool, very different. Some people are going to go absolutely nuts for this card. We've got the Zera Aura, with your Amolga, Togedemaru, and Pachirisu just chilling. I actually love this. This is one of my favorite of the special art rares. I think it's amazing. I also love the Zero Aura V-Star, but I actually think the V-Max is, on the face of it, the better card. It's very, very cool. Also, you'll notice I did say I wouldn't be surprised if we got a Zero Aura V, but there's no space. Because Raikou is 218, and then the V-Max is 219. There's no space for a Zero Aura V. We've got the Mewtwo, which is the other half of that artwork with the Charizard, which is absolutely stunning. We've got this Deoxys V Max with your Gigantamax or Beetle. And I know that a bunch of people are going to absolutely adore this. We've got ourselves, and then obviously the Deoxys V Star to go along with it quite nicely. We've got Hatterene V Max, the last Gigantamax Pokemon that hadn't had a V Max finally gets one. The circle is complete. We've got Zacian, and I'm afraid we don't have a better look at this. I'm sorry, but come on, it's still very cool. We've got the Lucario V-Star. Remember, this is going to be in the Elite Trainer Box for us. It's not going to be in the set proper. They have taken it out to pop in the Elite Trainer Box. We've got the Hasui and Samurott V-Star. Now, again, this is one that I'm not hugely fond of, but it's a kind of really stylized artwork that a bunch of people really are. This one is going to be very popular. Plus, this is who I chose for my initial run-through of Legends Arceus. We've then got Zamazenta V. Again, not the best look at the moment, but it's still a beautiful card. We've got Regigigas V-Star, and I'm still trying to decide how I feel about the artwork of this one, but I'm in love with Regigigas V-Star as a Pokemon, so I need some of these so I can play it. We've got the Hisuian Zoroark V-Star, and this is the last of the Pokemon we've seen so far. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, this is one that is driving a lot of people crazy. This is an awesome card. Now, when it comes to supporters, weirdly, some of them are special art rares. Same designation we've just given to the Pokemon, the V, V-Star, and V-Max. But some of them are just your regular super rares, which is a little bit weird. But in terms of special art rares, we've got ourselves Irida. And bearing in mind, Irida sees a bunch of play and is a very popular character. Plus, you've got the rest of the Pearl Clan on here. So you know people are going to go nuts for this card. You've got Raihan, and Raihan is very, very popular as a character. Signing a Pokeball, this is extremely cool. You've got Cynthia's Ambition, and this was one of my favourite cards I'd seen from the set. And then the lovely Antoine Boulet pointed out that Gastrodon is actually rocking a shoulder bag. And I, I just love everything about this card. We've then got Adaman. And what is extremely cool here is, again, like we saw in the Irida card, you've got the rest of the Diamond Clan here. This is not going to be as popular and valuable as Irida, but it's still a very cool card people are going to love. We've then got Roxanne. Firstly, a beautiful looking card chilling in the museum. Where else would she be? But also Roxanne is a card that sees a bunch of play, so people are going to want this version for their deck. And then we've got Gardenia's Vigor. Try and spot all the lovely hidden grass Pokemon. 
I adore this card as well. And then we finish off with four super rare supporter cards. We've got ourselves Volo. That's I really like this one. Discard a Pokemon V from your bench. I think it's a very cool card. We've got ourselves Elisa Sparkle, which was a very popular card in early Fusion Strike decks. Although people have stopped playing Fusion Strike Energy now, which does make this a much worse card. We've got ourselves Friends in Sinnoh, which I absolutely adore. And Friends in Hisui, which I similarly absolutely adore. Expect these to... I mean, they're terrible cards. They're just plain draw free. But expect these to be among the most popular of all of the cards in the set. Because they've got lots of characters on and they're just absolutely amazing. And Fever was not the only card revealed between me making and uploading this video. We did also see that Secret Rare Energy cards are back. We've been shown Darkness, but it's obviously a very fair assumption that all of the different types of basic energy are going to get featured. Now, these are designated as Secret Rare, and I believe Secret Rares are one per box. That's what we seem to know. I showed you that in my video earlier. So it seems to be, and this is not confirmed, but my best prediction at the moment essentially is... That in every box, you either get a designated super rare like a supporter, or you get a secret rare energy, but you don't get both. That's not 100% confirmed, but that is what I'm thinking at the moment. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. All the ones we've been shown so far, and hopefully, give it a couple of days, I'm going to be able to come back. And I'm going to be able to show you all of them. Although we might end up splitting it into a couple of videos. Because if it takes this long to go through the ones we've seen so far. There's a bunch we haven't. We'll have to wait and see. For now ladies and gentlemen. I just want to know which your favourites are. For me I've already told you which of the art rares are my favourites. In terms of the special art rares. I mean there's too many to choose honestly ladies and gentlemen. There are too many to choose. But certainly the Friends in Sinnoh and Friends in Hisui, I absolutely love. Cynthia's Ambition, I'm a huge fan of. The Zero Aura V Max takes my attention. And I am a sucker for a nice Regigigas. But I want to know which are your favourites, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord where we chat, have a whole lot of fun, and get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely star of Dav, who's been a supporter of ours for a couple of months now and does seem to be a very lovely person. So thank you very much for all the support and for being a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.